Sarajevo Airport in Bosnia Herzegovina. Last time I was here, this airport was closed. The siege had just ended. There was still a tunnel under the airport and there were unexploded landmines everywhere. Not now. In 1984, the world's attention was on this concrete tube I'm currently walking up. This was the bobsled track for the 1984 Sarajevo Winter Olympics. Now, 1984, this must have been a pretty happy place. Jump forward 10 years, 1994, this was also the front line on the longest running siege in modern warfare, the siege of Sarajevo. How and if they've cleared all the anti-personnel landmines around here, I don't know. Hence why I'm walking on the concrete, but there are hiking trails around here, so I imagine it is relatively safe now. But back then, 23, 24 years ago, this was where the Serbs looked down on Sarajevo and conducted their siege. While you're walking along the bobsled trail, down here are the trenches that mark the front line. I really don't know how to express into words what it's like to walk through an area that was the scene of some of the most brutal human on human action. I mean, this was the front line where the siege was conducted, where lots of innocent people were killed, and now it's returning to normality. And I, I, I don't know how to, how to verbalize that. I struggle with it. May the peace continue. I'm walking through the old town of Mostar, overlooking the bridge rebuilt by the Turks. The original bridge was commissioned by the Ottoman Sultan back in the 1500s, and on completion, it was the largest arch in the world. In fact, when the Sultan commissioned the bridge, he said to the architect, on pain of death, that you have to build this bridge. So the architect, when he pulled down the scaffolding around the side of the bridge, had actually prepared his own funeral just in case. The bridge stood for just short of 500 years when the Croats shelled it and destroyed it in 1993. The Croats claim it had strategic importance because the Muslims were using the bridge to take ammunition across from one side to the other. The front line was just over there. There is some legitimacy to that. They were bringing bodies back from the front the day that we first crossed. The stretcher bearers work for a well-organized civil defense network. Men who aren't in the army have to take part. East Mostar, because it's so isolated, has become the Bosnian government's best run and most highly mobilized enclave. It has to be, because they have so little. But most legal experts say that it actually was a deliberate attempt to destroy cultural heritage and had little strategic value. Because once the bridge was destroyed, a very quick suspension bridge was built across uh, using planks and wires and the ammunition continued to flow. I have to say, last time I was here, there was no bridge there, but on the wall just over there was a piece of graffiti. Let me go over and tell you about it. And on that wall there was a piece of graffiti painted Kylie Minogue. And I couldn't believe it. I'd come all the way to Mostar to find graffiti from an Australian who grew up around the corner from me. When the announcement was made that the bridge was going to be rebuilt, we all had a bit of a joke and said, the Turks announced they're going to rebuild it. Originally built in the 16th century by the Ottoman Turks, we said, you know, the funny thing, the Turks, all they're going to prove now is they won't be able to rebuild now what they could build 500 years ago. They did in fact rebuild it, but it took about three times as long as the original bridge. I'm not quite sure what that says. But I'm going to walk across this bridge in Mostar for the first time because it wasn't here last time. This is the least dangerous way over the river Neretva. A stroll across here used to be recommended in all the tourist guides. I can't quite verbalise what it's like to be in a city now that's humming with tourism, when I, but when I was last here, it was nothing but a desolate ruin. And I really can't put the feeling into words to describe what it's like to be walking amongst so much normality. May the peace continue. <laughs>